today's battle we had the six the six spotted tiger beetle against the the trapdoor spider. So let's get started with this battle. And no, this battle was not suggested by Owen. Okay. So trapdoor spiders can reach up to two to three, one to two inches in, at most at average, but they can reach up to three to four inches at max. Meanwhile, the tiger beetle, the tiger beetle can reach the six spotted tiger beetle can be up to at most zero point six centimeters in length. Yeah, that's pretty small for a tiger beetle, but at max, it can be up to an inch long. Yeah, an inch long. Yeah, anyway, anyway, the, the tarantula's weapons is its fangs and pedipalps to pin down her opponents. While the tiger beetle's weapon is its jaws, which can just cut through any insect it preys on. Sorry, I know this is a little stuff. So okay. Okay. So did it. So let's get into the. So um. Yeah, the the trapdoor spiders. They're called that because they make little holes in the ground. They find holes in the ground. That that is their new home. They use webs and everything as trap lines. Go see videos of them. Uh, they're really their hunting technique is impressive. But anyway, let's continue. So, anyways, the tiger. Let's get onto the stats. So the the tra the the trapdoor spider is a lot bigger, but the 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 beetle is faster. When it comes to strength, they're both tied. Cause the the beetle is a ravenous hunter, while the trapdoor spider has has you know pedipalps to pin down her prey. Brains, they're not really bright, but the spider's a little more smarter since you know it's hunting technique. Who's more aggressive? The beetle. And defensive, the beetle. The beetle is more defensive because of its hard carapace. So okay, so let's fight. So the trapdoor spider decides to go out of her hole, and she just walks around. Meanwhile, the tiger beetle is just zooming by, and apparently gets hit by one of the, the trap lines. The the spider the spider feels that, and rushes towards the beetle. The beetle gets gets set free, but the spider grabs it before it can run away. Oh, the beetle turns around and bites off one of the the, the trapdoor spider's, you know, arms, like kind of, like this part right here. This makes the spider jump back a bit, but then the spider jumps back onto the beetle and pins it down and tries to sink its fangs into the beetle. The six-spotted tiger beetle Runs away, but then comes to make comes back to make a U-turn and bites off another leg of the trapdoor spider. This the spider is getting really injured, so she retreats back into her hole. The beetle is not dumb, so he does not fall for the trick. So he just backs off. The spider just rests in there and rests. Interest. Until the beetle comes in to investigate, but then accidentally falls down and lands on, her, and the beetle lands on her side, no, on her back. She can't get up. This is when the chapter spider sees an opportunity and sinks her fangs into the beetle's underbelly. Yeah, the, the tiger beetle stops moving, and get, then gets devoured by the spider. Winner. Trapdoor spider. So I say the spider would win 65% of the time just because how ravenous this beetle is. The, the six spotted tiger beetle is. And the, and the tiger beetle got more bites out of the, the trapdoor spider, it surely could have won. Or if it couldn't have gone for the abdomen or head area or ripped off the pedipalps, then the spider would have been big trouble and would have less chance of winning. 
But in this fight, the spider won. Yeah. But I still think that the, the trapdoor spider will win. Thanks for watching. So make sure to subscribe and like to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye.